The CDC has identified a case of coronavirus in Washington state. The words about a pandemic at this point? No, we're not at all, and it's uh, going to be just fine. This was an investigation into the federal response to the pandemic. Well, uh, coming into election, people should be armed with that information when they go to the voting booth or when they send in their ballot. So the, it, it was a pretty simple calculation. And we knew from the beginning we started this project that we wanted this film out in early October. Whatever happens, we're totally prepared. The scientists knew what to do for the pandemic response. The plan was in front of us, but leadership would not do it. Sometimes there is that tension, you know, between material that you could leak or release early. Um, and I think if we had something as jaw-dropping as, uh, as what Woodward had, we might have done that. But I think there's also an argument to be made um, that sometimes... If you, if you have information, even if it's new information, and you're putting it together in the context of a story, it has more power in the context of that narrative than it does by releasing this little bit or that little bit. And indeed, the whole logic of what we tried to do in this film was to rudder against the kind of incessant fire hose of uh, events and facts that were being buffeted by you know, every day. And what we wanted to do is to focus particularly on the early days and see if we could take the, the facts, some of which were known, but to take those events and put them into a story so that they would make sense. Or, <laughs> or frankly, at least they would show us why the federal response didn't make sense. So that I think was our focus, was, was we felt that the power of the narrative was really what was gonna be important here rather than how about this fact, how about that fact? It is time to lay our careers on the line and push back. For example, the Max Kennedy story, um, that was something that um, even though, you know, his story had been published in the New York Times and Washington Post anonymously, um, there was some interest. We did feel like it was an important story for the public to know. And so when a New Yorker journalist wanted to do a story um, on this topic, we, um, Max reached out to us asking, you know, should, should I do this? He was very um, collaborative on, with us. And, and we, we did decide that it was important, even though, you know, we could have made a decision that no, we're going to break the story. Um, we did decide that it's important important that this article comes out as, as soon as possible so that the public um, has a chance to learn about this um, before the film comes out. So we didn't hold on to any important information just for the, for the sake of breaking a story for a documentary because we understood the importance of it. It's clear the United States did not perform to the best of its ability with the coronavirus. What went wrong for us? The truth is that political leaders caused avoidable death and destruction. The scientists sounded the alarm every day. The U.S. government was doing nothing. So I, I, I heard the news at 2 a.m. in the morning um, on uh, Friday. We had finished the film on Thursday. This would be not yesterday, but a week um, from, you know, earlier than yesterday. And we were done. And then 2 a.m., I get a call from Tom Quinn saying Trump has tested positive for coronavirus. So we all huddled early that morning and wondered, do we break open the film um, and find a way to put it in and put more footage in? And we ultimately decided uh, not to do that. But we, we came up, we felt we needed to say something. We came up with a card at the end of the film. The card at the end of the film both acknowledges that we were done. It said, one day after finishing this film, President Trump tested positive for coronavirus. And that seemed uh, a kind of simple sardonic poetry and a way of including one last piece of uh, fire hose news that, 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 that seemed to put the capper on, on what we had already done. One day it's like a miracle, it will disappear. It'll be wonderful, it'll be a gift from heaven. Do you take responsibility? No, I don't take responsibility at all. We've never had a failure like this. The truth is finally coming out. There's so much to expose. 
We have it totally under control.